crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, Maisie, and Joshua. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hi guys, so I'm here to give you a quick doll show update. Um, and if you're not sure what I'm talking about, um, I will link to the video where I first talk about this upcoming doll show in Canada coming up in the spring. Um, and yes, <laughs> my babies, most of my babies anyway, are still in Halloween costumes, even though I have all the Christmas decorations out. Um, I'm hoping to get them all changed into Christmas outfits this weekend um, so I can hopefully do our group picture that I usually do uh, every year. But anyways, I wanted to come on and give you guys a couple of updates because um, the video that I originally made about the new doll show coming to London, Ontario, Canada in the spring late spring early summer um is uh, there was a couple of questions that arose from it and i do believe i answered most of those questions um in the comments of the video or even um i think the ones running the show um they got on and answered some questions as well uh so but with that said i thought i would come on and provide the updated um information like answering the questions in this video just in case anyone um missed the answers or in case anyone else out there had the same questions so to get all of the first set of details that i released which is like the location of the show when it is price ticket prices all that good stuff go check out my other video i will link to it in the description below i will also link to it in the i card up above um but basically um it's called the international artisan convention doll show it is running from may the 29th to june 1st of 2019 in london ontario canada and it is going to take place at the Best Western Plus Lamplighter Inn and Conference Center. And so the main, um, one of the main questions I got was, is the doll show going to be in the same, or sorry, is the hotel where they have um, blocked off some rooms for people who are going to the doll show to get it like a special um, hotel rate? basically wanting to know if uh that hotel is the same place that the doll show is taking place and yes uh it's all in the same place which is amazing so if you can book a room i definitely suggest doing that um just from experience alone when i've gone to the rose doll show i have always booked a room in the hotel that the show takes place in because it just makes it so much more convenient um, because you can just come down from your hotel room and go straight to the doll show and you know even if you want to like take a break during the day at the show and you want to go back up to your room and get like a drink or a refreshment and you know rest your feet a bit and come back down um, you know you can come and go as many times as you want during the day and so I highly recommend doing that if you can and um, but however if for whatever reason when you go to book a room all the rooms have been booked up I just wanted to let you guys know that there are lots of other hotels within the area and um, you know it would be probably like I would say maybe no more than a 10 minute drive to the doll show from the hotels that are nearby. Um, and uh, maybe 10 to 15 minutes tops. And uh, so, I mean, if you don't drive, there's taxis, things like that. You could Uber it. 
that kind of stuff. Um, and speaking of which, before I continue with talking about the hotel, I wanted to mention also the area that the doll show is in is a fantastic sort of central location and it is super like super close to all kinds of shopping so you know for us um, that collect reborn dolls if you like to go shopping for baby clothes so you know say you didn't want to go to the doll show one of the days one of the three days um, or in the evening if you wanted there is a Carter's nearby like I would say less than five minutes away um, there's a Carter's there's a Dollar Tree which I'll just tell you guys right now the Canadian Dollar Trees are not as good as the US but alas there is a Dollar Tree um, there is also Once Upon a Child all kind of within the same little area and then just kind of like up the road from there um, maybe like a half a block or a block up from there are um, lots of different little restaurants there's also a mall that has a Walmart and a whole bunch of other stores in it so you know so if you're staying for a few days you want to go down to Walmart and get some groceries so that you have like some snacks and drinks in your hotel room it's conveniently there so it's a fantastic location because everything is so accessible and so close by so like I said I definitely recommend if you can get a hotel room in the actual lamplighter in where the doll show will be held so you can come and go um but like I said if you can't there are plenty of hotels within that same area so and we've stayed at some of them before and they're all really nice and they have really good rates as well um so yeah the doll show itself like i think from may 29th starting may 29th is classes so it's basically only the last three days of that of those dates like may 29th to june 1st is the last three day, days of that that the actual doll show is open like the show floor where you can go shopping uh, but like I said, go check out my previous video because I go into that in a lot more detail. So getting on to some other questions that were asked. So people were asking how to book a hotel, getting the doll show special rate. Um, because they were saying like some of them had gone to the website to try to, they've gone to the doll show website and they went to the, um, whatchamacallit they went to the accommodation page and they couldn't find how to go about booking with a special show rate so i just wanted to answer that question and they have actually since this question has been presented they have since updated the accommodation page to explain how to do that but i will also explain it here so it's actually quite easy um, on that accommodation webpage, they give you a 1-800 phone number to reach the front desk of the hotel and you will have to call them and say that you would like to book a room for X amount of nights, whatever, however many nights you're planning to stay. Just let them know that you are coming to attend the IAC doll show May 29th to June 1st and that you would like to get a group a group room rate and the prices of the rooms start at $139 per night Canadian that's in Canadian dollars so remember guys if you're in the US and you're traveling here it's going to cost less than that per night for you probably I would say a good like $20 or so less for you guys so just keep that in mind um, also there is a restaurant located in the hotel uh, a few years ago I think like a little over a year ago or a year and a half ago when we went to the London Doll and Teddy Bear show 
uh, we met up with a bunch of reborn moms um, at the restaurant there for dinner and it was quite good and the prices were pretty reasonable so just letting you guys know about that um, also you I really highly recommend that you follow the doll show on social media um, they provided their info in the comments of my video but I will also put it in the description of this video for you guys because they are on uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. Um, so I'll put that information in the description below for you guys to find. And I highly recommend that you follow them on whichever social media you have because that way you will be updated on everything that's going on with the show and get all of the information you will need. Um, okay, then the next thing I wanted to talk about is also, they mentioned in the comments of the videos, which this, I did not know this, uh, they are hoping to take this road, this road, this show on the road. Sorry guys, I cannot form sentences today for some reason. Okay, <laughs> I call that lupus fog. They want to take the show on the road in the future. Obviously, they don't know when or where or what the plans are, but they do hope to do that in the future. So like I said, again, make sure you follow them on social media because then you will be up to date on if they are going to be holding the show in other locations in the coming years. Um, and then finally, I had the question of, is the showroom floor wheelchair accessible and yes it is um they had commented that they saw some videos where it looked like things were really crowded and cramped in the aisles and i just wanted to say um that was not the case at the last london doll show we went to in october because they had that doll show at the same location that this doll show is going to be at and it was a much larger space so they were able to make the aisles a lot more wide and spacious so I really didn't feel like you know people were like bumping into each other there um, if anyone was worried about that those were probably the videos of the previous London doll and teddy bear shows that took place at a different location where they I mean they used to have that every year at that location for many years and it was very small and very tight space and the way that they set it up was not the best setup uh it did not leave an, a lot of room in the aisles and that was why that doll show uh in particular had said no strollers for reborn dolls um the only strollers that would be allowed were ones for real children but even at that to bring any stroller uh, in the venue seemed like an impossible <laughs> feat. Um, and with that, I was like, okay, how are, you know, wheelchairs or walkers or whatever going to get in here? Um, so like I said, once we, uh, they switched it to the new location in October, and this is a totally different show run by different people than the, uh, the new upcoming one. Um, but yeah, this, this venue is much better and it's definitely going to be uh, wheelchair accessible for everyone. And I know some people did ask if strollers for Reborns would be allowed at this show since the London Doll and Teddy Bear show has said no to those. Um, they even said no to strollers for Reborns even at the new location at the Lamplighter Inn this past October. Um, so that I will say I'm not sure about. I think I had asked them, but I hadn't got a response. So if they're watching this video, can you guys um, just leave a comment below to let people know if uh, they can bring their strollers for their Reborns? I don't think it would be a problem um but I'm not 100% sure on that so they will let us know 
and then I will relay that info. So there you have it guys. That is um, the latest news on the upcoming doll show and I will put all the links in the description below. I will link to my other video about the show. I will link to the doll show's website where you can purchase your conference pass in advance as well as you know get to the hotel accommodations you can if you are a vendor and you would like to get a booth or a table you can do that through the website now and there's also um that's where you can also register for the classes and things like that so i'll link to that website below as well as the doll shows uh social media pages so make sure to Go and read the description below if you're interested in any of that information. And um, yeah, I'm going to <laughs> try my best to do Vlogmas this year. Um, I try to do it every year. It does get a little tricky sometimes with the hustle and bustle of things, but I'm going to try my best to do Vlogmas, which means a video every day, <laughs> which I haven't done in a while because of the way things have been going, but I'm going to try. Uh, so I'm going to end this video here so that I can get today's vlog done to go up tomorrow and start Vlogmas. Um, I guess my thing would be maybe if I don't feel like I can get a video up every day, I will still vlog a little something every day, whether it be Elf on the Shelf or whatever, and maybe combine it into one video and like kind of list the dates that those things happen. Um, so it will kind of still be like I've vlogged every day but maybe not a video uploaded every day so anyways guys i hope you're all having a really good weekend i got some christmas shopping done on thursday after my doctor's appointment and yeah um i know some of you have been asking about my grandma i am gonna make sure to update you guys probably in the next video uh, i'll do that i'll briefly talk about that in my first vlog of vlogmas um but yeah. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.